Hello, welcome back to Lovely's Crafting Lodge. Today I have a flip through of a chocolate themed journal that I made. Um, this is part of the Journal Madness 2021 series. So um, you might have seen some progress that I've made on this. The, um, the outside cover is made of coffee and cocoa dyed papers. I call, I call the set my mocha dyed pages. Um, and then di uh, digital from there. Um, I can't remember whose digital this was, but a digital over the top. And I have some um, printed on vellum there. So, and it's three whole pamphlet stitch and the spine is reinforced with Tyvek tape. So it's pretty, it's strong. <laughs> um, so in the side here, so inside here, sorry, there's, this is three signatures and um, they're all different. The pages aren't just a solid size. So I used um, a couple different digital kits here. I made some tags and some stamping recipe pages. And on the backs of a lot of these journal cards, I, so this is the original mocha papers and I scanned them and I made some of them and I made a digital that is available on my Etsy if you're interested. And I just printed them on the back of someone else's kit um, for my for this journal. So I bought this digital from someone and then I printed my digital on the back. So I hope that makes sense. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a lot of fun making this journal. It was really interesting. A lot of the digitals that I came across were coffee and chocolate. It wasn't just chocolate. And Poppiness as uh, Susan Taylor Brown, and she had a really great um, vintage chocolates. I think it, she called it Sweet Dreams. And it had just like a bunch of really fun pictures on it. I ended up um, getting... I don't recall who I got this other digital from that has like the sweets on it and things like that. I initially didn't have that one. Um, as I was looking at it, I didn't want it all to be vintage looking. I wanted to give it some, you know, variety. So that's why I searched out for another one. I was so happy I was able to, you know, technology is not my forte. So I was really happy that I was able to figure out how to make a digital. Um, so I felt more comfortable using the um, papers, the originals. This is so cute. This is this one ticket that was in a digital and it had multiple tickets, but this is the one I really wanted to use. <laughs> and just a little, little journaling spot right here. I thought that seemed pretty fun. I like it. And again, I just like how the, you know, the, the images here of the sweets and things like that kind of play with the vintage. And then I have the different washi. I, I really like how this came, came out. And we're starting the second signature here. I think this, the, this signature is probably um, one of my favorites, like just look at how it's like ripped at the top and like the inking and then the fibers and it just, oh, I really like it. It came out really nice. Um, so inside I, I got a lot of journaling cards. Um, her, uh, Susan Taylor Brown's digital kit was massive. So I was able to make so many journaling cards and I don't even think I used all, all of what was available. Um, this is a little booklet here, but I attached it with washi, so it's like extra journaling space. And the back here is so plain that you could easily journal on the back of that too. And I used some of the smaller images as tabs. I, I wanted it to have like a, I don't know, kind of like a textured theme on the edges so you'd be able to kind of play, you know. And this is a tag. I just kept them when I was cutting the digital out. I just kept them together and so I could make like a little book out of it and um, just added some coffee dyed um, <clears throat> seam binding on the top there. And this is, I think, um, yeah, this, so this is the middle of the second signature and this is my digital kit that is printed on vellum and I absolutely love this especially with their recipe right behind it like I don't know I really hope that comes through for you all to see it's so pretty 
<laughs> I think that's so neat. Um, so I really enjoy making journals. I'm still really new to it. Um, but I wonder, you know, in a journal like this, what would you write in here? You know, I just, <sighs> I don't know. I don't journal, but I really enjoy making them. I like everything about the process. Um, I think if I were to journal, I might be able to grow more as a journal maker, but with everyone having their own individuality and things like that, things that they use journals for, um, you know, memory keeping, memory planning, right? This is the beginning of the last signature here. Um, it's, uh, you, I have to create in a way that is enjoyable for me. So this is what I created and I enjoyed creating it. So I'm happy with it. And if someone's interested in it, then they're interested in it. Or if they like it, then they like it, you know, but I think changing my, um, my complete style or something like that isn't what I'm saying. Um, I guess what I'm saying is it would be nice to know how people use their journals. Um, kind of like planners, if you're watching, it's kind of like after the pen, right? You know, you do all this pretty stuff. Um, I made a paper clip here. So you do all this pretty stuff. That's the paper clip. So you do all this pretty stickers, decorations, uh, colorful boxes, all this stuff, right? And then you actually like write in your planner, you know, it's after the pen. So like, I'd like to see journals that are after the pen. So I guess what I'm saying is it would be interesting to know what journals look like after they've been written and so I know people write a lot of personal information in their journal and things like that so I'm not I, I guess I don't want to know it for the nosy side of it I want to know it for like the you know was this kind of thing inspirational was it fun you know like were you able to use it would something like this be helpful is this good journaling space or is this just purely decoration and I think that it's um, just as as individual as the creator of the journal. Um, the more I think about it, you know, each person, how they choose to use a journal is just completely that unique. So as much as I'd like to know how these look, you know, once they're all filled up and stuff, I like how they are just as they are. This was a really popular image in a lot of the digitals that I was seeing. This mocha paper turned out absolutely gorgeous and I know you weren't here. Oh, I need to glue some more. There. I know you weren't here when I was baking it <laughs> or dehydrating it, but it smelled absolutely glorious. It smelled so good. Um, I usually run my washi tape through a glue stick. This one must have just snuck right by me. So this journal is one of the um, one of the four that I made for Journal Madness and as I kind of laid out in the beginning of this process it will go up for sale in my Etsy shop so if you're interested just swing on over and take a look at it. Maybe give it a new home and um, it's all glued up nicely now. And the last thing here, I just kind of flipped up. It was just um, a journaling card attached with washi there. And then the back. It's very nice. Um, I really like how it turned out. So. so that is all that I have for today. I'll see you back here next time at Lovely's Crafting Lodge.